Welcome to Hiking MB and welcome to the Priceville Footbridge near Boys Town. It's not a long hike today, but it's a very interesting place to explore and great for kids. So let's take a hike. The Priceville Footbridge was a 630 foot walking connection across the southwest Miramichi River between the communities of Priceville and McNamee. The bridge carried a posted warning, only three at one time. On May 10, 1939, despite the fact that the water from the southwest Miramichi River crept within a foot of its floorboards, many residents still used the footbridge earlier that Wednesday afternoon. After all, high water and swift cold current were normal for that time of year. Five men started across the bridge. The first was James Stewart, or Daddy Jim, an elderly man returning from McNamee after visiting family on the Priceville side. Daddy Jim was followed by four Price men, Tennyson crossing to pick up his marriage license, and David, then Lawrence. Willard, the youngest, just days from his 16th birthday, was the last to step onto the bridge. With the weight of the five, the bridge dipped into the fast water. In mere seconds, the cable snapped and the footbridge surrendered to the current of the Miramichi. Daddy Jim had nearly crossed the McNamee side. He held on for some time, but finally let go while onlookers watched, powerless to assist. Tennyson and Willard were both thrown into the frigid water. Their bodies were later recovered. David managed to hang on to the cable and pull himself to safety on the Priceville side. Lawrence was caught among the cables in the water. Clyde Price and Tom Wilson, upon hearing the commotion, pulled their boat to Lawrence. While Clyde held the boat steady, Tom cut the wires around Lawrence and pulled him to safety after an hour and a half in the water. Three men died, two barely survived. Communities on both sides of the Miramichi were heartbroken. The bridge was rebuilt later that year with a middle abutment. In 1988, the footbridge was replaced again and is now maintained by the Department of Transportation. It is still used today and is the longest swinging bridge in New Brunswick. Thanks for coming with me today and for more information on this bridge location, uh, go to the link below. Now get out on your own adventures.